Let's go over Star Wars Episode 9 and director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 won't begin principal photography until the very end of July. Abrams will be directing alongside with Chris Terrio. Everything seems to be moving along pretty smoothly. This week, we have been learning a little bit more about Episode 9. And one of the big things is that Star Wars Episode 9 will break tradition when it comes to the Star Wars franchise. Now this all comes along with breaking the familiarity of the past and introducing new lore, weapons, and ships. So this honestly connects to a rumor from a couple of months ago that Episode 9 will actually introduce brand new things in the Star Wars universe and won't be tied to the past. If you guys look at the sequel trilogy, in particular with The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, you see a lot of things that are indeed connected to the original trilogy, such as TIE Fighters, X-Wings, you name it, A-Wings, and we have heard before that Star Wars Episode 9 is going to break away from all that familiarity and this honestly connects to that old rumor and it seems as so that J.J. Abrams wants to create something completely new when it comes to Episode 9, not only breaking the familiarity of the past, but introducing new lore, weapons, and ships that we have never seen or learned of before. Now looking at the last film in the sequel trilogy, I do have a couple of fears, and my big fear, if they actually have the bravery to kill off Chewbacca, the droids such as R2-D2 and C-3PO, and even the destruction of the Millennium Falcon. Now that I feel is something that I wish and hope, at least, that they totally avoid. I feel like it's not really necessary to do such a thing. I don't know how you guys feel about that on whether or not they would do that, but if they were to, how would you feel about that if Episode 9 were to kill off Chewbacca, the droids, and even the Millennium Falcon? Now we have also heard before by J.J. Abrams that the Star Wars Episode 9 film will actually continue contain a lot of prequel trilogy continuity, and this film will serve as a tool to combine all nine movies together. So this is going to be exciting to me, honestly. I'm not quite sure where they're going to go with that when it comes to combining all nine films together. It could mean dozens of things out there. It could have something to do with the Jedi. It could have something to do with some characters that we already know of. But looking at episode nine, guys, I'm honestly very, very curious as to how this movie is going to end, how this whole entire sequel trilogy is going to end, what's going to happen to Rey. We do know that originally Daisy Ridley was crying over, you know, the fate of Rey, whether or not she lived or died, I don't know what happened, but in the original script by Colin Trevorrow, when he showed her the script, Daisy Ridley was crying over her own character, Rey, at the very end of the movie. So that tells me right then and there, I think, that at the very end, at least originally, it was going to be dr very much dramatic with the character of Rey. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.